in the Knicks' final game of the season, the injury bug came again. And this time, its victim was our superstar point guard in Jalen Brunson. Late in the third quarter of Game 7, Jalen Brunson fractured his hand. We're going to break down exactly what happened, how Brunson looked after the game, and what we should expect about Brunson moving forward and his recovery. All of this and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. Jalen Brunson fractures his hand. It is so ironic for the Knicks season to end this way. The entire year, the Knicks have been dealing with a number of injuries. Julius Randle, our three-time All-Star, out. Mitchell Robinson, offensive rebounding monster, out. OG Ananobi, basically out because I'm not counting those five minutes that he played during Game 7 as his return. And then Bojan Bogdanovic, somebody who we traded for to have that shooting touch off the bench, he's out. And then during the third quarter, Jalen Brunson fractures his hand. What a way for the Knicks season to go. If the Knicks are fully healthy, the Knicks are in the Eastern Conference Finals right now. They're giving the Celtics one of the best matchups of the series and potentially taking that seven games. And if they take that to a game seven, who knows what could happen then? But unfortunately, we're not talking about that right now because the Knicks are not fully healthy. We're far from that. We are dealing with a number of injuries. And one of them is to our key superstar in Jalen Brunson. For those of you who didn't see what happened to Jalen Brunson's hand during game seven, let me break it down for you a little bit. The Knicks Jalen Brunson leaves game seven with a fractured left hand. Brunson sustained the injury in the third quarter when he swiped down at Tyrese Halliburton and felt something in his hand. Brunson left the game with three minutes and two seconds remaining in the third quarter and did not return. Let's take a look at the exact play and see where the injury occurred. So as you can see here, Brunson goes for the swipe at the ball to Tyrese Halliburton, but unfortunately it looks like his hand makes contact to Tyrese Halliburton's knee. And right there, it seems like that's where he fractures his hand. And unfortunately, right after that play, he goes back to the locker room and he does not return. What a way for Brunson's season to end. He was having a magical year for the Knicks. And if the Knicks even won this game against the Pacers, they likely had no shot against Boston if Jalen Brunson was not going to play. What an unfortunate way for Jalen Brunson's season to end. He was having a magical year for us. When he was out there, he was doing everything in his power to try to help this Knicks team win and advance. But unfortunately, with him dealing with all the injuries he's been dealing with and also carrying the workload of being the offensive juggernaut for this team, making sure he's the engine of this team, sometimes it can be a lot for somebody. It can take its toll on your body. And that probably is what happened to Jalen Brunson. But you know what? I do not regret anything that Brunson did during this series during this playoff run, or during the regular season. Brunson has showed out and become a superstar right before our eyes. We've all seen it and witnessed it. If you don't believe Jalen Brunson is a superstar, you are kidding yourself. You are lying to yourself. We all have seen his greatness. You don't put up the numbers he's done in the postseason, the games that matter the most, and not be called a superstar. You don't put this Knicks team on your back and help them get the second seed while dealing with all of these injuries. If you do that, in my book, you are a superstar. Jalen Brunson has emerged as a superstar. That is the one positive that we can take out of this year and be happy with. Another positive we can take out of this year is that the Knicks got all the way to the Eastern Conference semifinals again with a hobbled roster. We took it to seven games, and I think we all know if we were fully healthy, it would have not gone seven. It might have not gone six. It might have gone five. A gentleman sweep, and the Knicks would have been in the Eastern Conference Finals right now playing against Boston. But again, we should never look backwards because we can't fix the past, so we can't go back. Let's look at the future and what we have to move forward with. And the future looks very, very bright because we have Jalen Brunson on this team. And as long as he's on this roster, the Knicks can do anything. Tom Thibodeau was also recently heard speaking to the media 
and he said the following about the Knicks and their injuries. According to Thibodeau, we don't want to see the injuries we had, but that's part of it. Thibodeau is a big believer in the next man up theory, but he acknowledged, I thought guys gave everything they had, and that's all you can ask. There was nothing left to give at the end. According to CBSSports.com, the Knicks will provide further updates on Brunson's injury and whether or not he will require offseason surgery when appropriate. As of right now, there is no further updates or information about Brunson and his hand fracture. Even though there's no further updates about Brunson and that hand fracture, I wanted to see if there was any videos floating around about Brunson and how he looked after the game. And thankfully, I found one. After the game, as you can see here, Jalen Brunson saw the Knicks fans outside of MSG. He stopped his car, he got out of his car, and he went to say hi to them. But as you can clearly see, that wrist, it looks like it has some form of a cast on it. It does not look good for Brunson, but we're not going to speculate. We don't know exactly what that means for Jalen Brunson moving forward. But the fact that his wrist looks like that after the game is not good news. Another person, or another Nick player, I should say, that came out and greeted fans after the game was clearly Josh Hart. Brunson did it, and then he left. And then Josh Hart did it, and then he went in his car, and he left as well, too. And I got to say, these guys did not need to do this. They could have just went home. But you know what? They thought they owed it to the fans after this magical season. And I think I speak for all New Yorkers when I say thank you, Jalen Brunson. Thank you, Josh Hart. And thank you so much to this Knicks team for doing each and everything possible for trying to win each and every game this year and give us exactly what we wanted, that Eastern Conference Finals appearance. It may have not happened this year, but next year, I think we're going to get there and beyond, especially if our roster is healthy. But credit to these guys injured the way that they are not feeling well but still going out there and greeting all of these Knicks fans it shows you exactly who these players are and why we should want them on this Knicks team for many many years to come but the main question for me is will Jalen Brunson require offseason surgery because I don't want him to have offseason surgery hopefully he can avoid it but if he can't Hopefully he doesn't miss too much time and he can still go through that offseason routine because we already know Certain players, if they miss that offseason routine, they have a very sluggish start to the season. Julius Randle is one of those players. And you know what? I actually believe that Jalen Brunson might be one of those players as well, too. They need to get into a rhythm, some type of flow. And if they're able to do that before training camp, that's going to mean a lot for this team. If they can't, it's going to hurt this team early on. But obviously, when fully healthy, they can do anything. I absolutely believe that of this Knicks team. So next year, if they run it back, which I don't believe they're going to do, but let's say they did that. I think this Knicks team could go all the way to the NBA Finals. That's how good they are. But given all the reports that are out there, it's very likely that Leon Rose and this Knicks front office is going to make a massive trade happen. They're going to trade some of the picks that we have, some of the players that we have, and they're going to go out there and get a player that they covet and they know can fit this roster and help this Knicks team take that next step, go to that next level, and be an NBA Finals contender each and every year. That's always been the goal under Leon Rose. This year, we took a very real step into that. This offseason, we're going to take more steps into that. This year should already told you, the Knicks are trying to win now. The moves we just made, OG Ananobi, Bojan Bogdanovic, keeping all of our first round picks, it was to set up a great offseason. We're almost there. Once we get there, watch the moves come in. Leon Rose is not going to disappoint us. This year, we needed to make a statement. We did that. Next year is absolutely going to be our year. When we go all the way to the NBA Finals, I absolutely believe that because Leon Rose in this front office has made me believe that with their strategic moves all season long, I absolutely believe we're going to see more of those moves come this offseason. And I cannot wait to see those fireworks go off. But what about you guys? What do you think about this other injury that the Knicks are dealing with now with Jalen Brunson fracturing his hand? And how do you feel about that injury as well? Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. And of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.